Hi Chewies, here's Alexandra. Well, exactly two years ago I showed you uh, how to build a magic cube. Well, to be exact, a cheap cube. And uh, well, today I uh, introduce you to my new cube, or better said, the uh, cube 2.0, where I have uh, refined the cube and uh, well, let's dive right into it. First of all, uh, let's introduce you to uh, my transporting solution. This is uh, the box where my cube is in. This is uh, from Ultimate Safeguard, the stack and save card box for 480 cards. It's uh, quite inexpensive and uh, very nice. Uh, it comes with this lid. And when it is uh, on top, it is relatively uh, safe, so it's uh, is not a one hundred percent secure, is uh, but it will uh, do the trick, and uh, so uh, for the price you can't uh, complain. So it comes with uh, uh, well normally uh, six compartments for each eighty cards, but uh, you can uh, remove the dividers, and then you have uh, three big. Uh, piles where you can have your cards. Here are uh, the basic lens for my cube uh, inside and I have here this uh, well red sleeved card as a divider between the lens and uh, the other cards. So, but where are the other cards of the cube, you ask? Well, uh, I have them separate here so that I can uh, show you what's all in it. So, uh, in Wuburg order, uh, we have here white, then the stack of blue cards, then our black cards, then our red cards. Ta da! Here are green cards. Thick and here are now the rest. Those are artifacts. Well, um, what can I tell you about this cube? First of all, uh, you may ask, well, what is a cube? I don't have, uh, I haven't seen the uh, video two years ago, and uh, could you explain what a cube is? Well, okay, let's uh, quickly uh, summon it up. A cube is uh, actually like a like a deck um, that is in constructed format, uh, but on the other hand, it is uh, not a constructed format because uh, you draft with it. So um, means a cube consists of uh, 360 cards plus 360 is uh, the absolute minimum for a deck, and this is uh, 360 cards. Uh, it is uh, meant to be played between uh, two and eight players, but if you want to uh, go higher, you can uh, go up to uh, maybe 720 cards uh, for a uh, 12 player draft or what have you. Uh, basically, you start with a 360 card uh, cube deck and um, you work uh, uh, your way up for uh, each player and each player that uh, you want to uh, raise the number of your cube, uh, you add uh, 45 more cards. So um, basically, when you draft normally, each player uh, gets three booster packs and, uh, well, 15 cards in a, a booster pack means 45 cards per player. And so uh, you want to have that. A cube is uh, meant to be played uh, as a draft environment for uh, four to eight players normally, but uh, you can uh, with the cube also uh, play with less than four players. For example, uh, you could uh, play maybe a pack wars with uh, just one friend or you make a sealed deck with just one friend uh, against you where you can't draft. Uh, it's totally up to you what you want to do with your uh, with your cube. Well, so much for that. <clears throat> um, in constructing a cube, you um, see that uh, all the colors are uh, relatively, 
the same amount. Well, uh, it divides here and there. I have a little bit more green cards than white cards and one or two, three uh, cards more than black and a little bit less blue, a little bit more red. It totally depends on you how you want to design it, but uh, uh, you should basically um, uh, aim for a relatively uh, clean environment where each card is uh, each color is uh, well represented uh, of course you could uh, totally make a, a monocolored cube uh, I have heard of uh, mono red cubes or mono blue cubes um, totally up to you then um, the power level what kind of power level do you expect from a cube uh, well, when you play Magic Online, uh, there they have the uh, powered cube with the power nine cards. Um, for example, the Moxes or uh, the um, Black Lotus or Time Walk or how all the uh, cards are called. If you want to include those, well, be prepared that your cube will be very, very, very expensive. Uh, we are talking uh, about thousands of dollars uh, of cash. But uh, if you want to uh, have an, just a uh, nice um, playing ground for you and your friends uh, to have a, a casual, uh, nice playing experience, you don't need those super expensive cards. You can build a cube out of that, uh, out of the cards you have laying around. So, for example, this cube here. I have created, I haven't bought a single card for this cube. The only things I have bought to make this cube are the sleeves and the card box. So uh, nothing more went into this cube. I, uh, well, obviously at one time, at one point in time I have uh, bought the cards, but uh, I have bought the cards for other purposes. So uh, this cube consists of uh, cards that were in a uh, index that I haven't uh, been running anymore or that have rotated out of standard, <coughs> and um, also uh, cards from my old cube. And uh, so I have um, selected a very uh, few cards uh, that are really really nice uh, working together in their uh, respected colors. So uh, let's dive uh, into, uh, I, I won't uh, read every each and every card, but I just want to flip through uh, the, um, the colors so you can uh, see how this uh, cube is constructed. So um, they are uh, all sorted by uh, mana costs. So sometimes uh, there are German cards in there, bear with me, sorry, uh, I am a German player, and sometimes there are no uh, English cards available, so I have to pick the German ones, and uh, so, yeah, here. We start with a uh, one drops here, uh, removal spell, little uh, creature, one one, another, uh, yeah, we have a combat trick, here we have a nice uh, spell to uh, summon, uh, white weenies, then a, a nice little uh, protection uh, card, combat trick again, then uh, here a nice uh, cheap creature, then we have a nice weenie producer, um, lifelinker, uh, enchantment creature, we have uh, here a combat trick again, uh, enchantment, 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 uh, another enchantment to create more creatures. Uh, then we have here another nice little creature, pacifism, all-time favorite for white. And uh, you see, um, I have um, in selecting these cards, um, I have reduced the. Uh, the, the crap out of uh, my cards and uh, only uh, distilled the uh, essence of good cards I had uh, laying around. So uh, you won't see here super expensive cards. Those are just uh, normal, really nice, playable cards that uh, you would normally pick out of, uh, out of a booster draft. So for example, uh, a normal booster that uh, is created by uh, Wizards of the Coast consists uh, of one rare, three uncommons, and the rest 
comments. And, uh, yeah, Wizards of the Coast uh, always produces um, powerful cards, but on the other hand, they are producing filler cards that are uh, not very uh, powerful on their own, but uh, they are nice. But in this uh, nice level environment, they can uh, also determine that some cards are better than others. So, and uh, often players look at the rarity of a card and determine so well, a rare is always better than a, than a common or an uncommon. That's not, not always the case. So, uh, for example, there was a, a big, big uh, fuss about uh, in, the, uh, in the Magic community about a specific draft uh, that happened at a Pro Tour where um, the uh, Modern Masters 2 deck was uh, um, drafted and one player picked a Tarmogoyf, a foil Tarmogoyf, over a Lightning Bolt. So, a Lightning Bolt is a common card and uh, a Tarmogoyf is a card that uh, is several hundred euros uh, or dollars uh, worth of money, especially the a foil one. <coughs> but in a draft environment, there um, is the uh, lightning bolt much more powerful than the Tamagoyf. The Tamagoyf is a creature that is very, very powerful in constructed formats like modern or um, or for example, uh, vintage or leg legacy even, but in a draft format, it's almost useless. And uh, so there was a big debate uh, over that. And you see, uh, most um, most pro players uh, don't look at rarities. And so for a cube, also you don't have to look at the rarity of your cards. So. Uh, <coughs> In my first video, two years ago, I explained uh, how to divide your cube between um, uh, the rarities and that you uh, have to create boosters with one rare and uh, three uncommons and eleven commons. But um, honestly, when you are creating uh, a cube, you shouldn't have your, the rarity of the cards in mind. So. Um, <coughs> So much for that. You see here, this is a total uh, mix out of uh, several rares I have, and uh, also uncommons and commons. So it totally depends only on how good is a card in a game. So for example, here Triton Tactics. It's an uncommon, but it is a bunkers card in uh, drafts. It's totally bunkers. So uh, also here, rapid hybridization is, is a really, really sweet removal against uh, super powerful cards. So uh, yes, you turn something into a three-three frog, but uh, well, it has uh, a dual purpose. It can uh, reduce your uh, how, your Skitterix the Blight Dragon uh, into a three-three frog so less harmful, or you could even uh, turn the other way around. You turn your 1-1 one, one, uh, elf into a 3-3 three, three frog for just one blue mana. So it has a dual purpose. This way, this card is a good card for one blue mana, but there are also shitty cards uh, with just one blue mana. So then, of course, here in blue I have uh, some counter spells, some good stuff, some... Well, here's not so much bad stuff in it. It's uh, all good stuff. <clears throat> so, and also, um, when you're creating a cube, you are uh, creating a uh, draft environment. Basically, you're, you're creating your own set. <clears throat> so there are several approaches on creating your own cube. <clears throat> you could uh, do it totally on a budget and say, okay, I want to uh, create a pauper cube. 
proper meaning that you only include, uh, include uh, common cards. That uh, might save you a lot, a lot of money. So, um, of course, I have a Power 9 card here, Stormcrow, yes. There is an unwritten rule that Stormcrow has to be in a cube, so, well, here it is. I'm not proud of it, but, well. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, uh, where was I? Ah, uh, um, creating your cube, um, as a popper cube, uh, that you won't see Tassa, God of the Seas, but, uh, well, you see Divination. This is also a really nice card. And, uh, <clears throat> when you're creating your, uh, your cube, you can also have uh, several um, archetypes in mind. So, for example, uh, you could just uh, make several 45 card decks with a specific theme in mind and don't um, divide the, uh, the whole cube by color, just by theme. So, you, um, for example, take <coughs> your uh, standard decks that have rotated out and uh, remove all the lands and put them into the cube and et voila you have uh, a complete deck concept inside this cube so that players could redraft this and uh, yeah <clears throat> well uh, I won't go over each and every card here so uh, I will uh, flip through here a little bit faster that you can uh, maybe see stuff for yourself. I know you can't read all the cards, but uh, <clears throat> long-time Magic players uh, may recognize several cards here, for example, Planeswalker, Tesseret. And if you include something like Tesseret here, you have to have artifacts. So um, what you might not find in this uh, cube are uh, non-basic lands. Um, reason for that is I wanted to uh, have this uh, cube as small as possible mm. and uh, I wanted to have uh, nevertheless mana fixing and for that I have uh, my artifacts. I have here of course a soul ring and uh, then I have also here for example this uh, prophetic prism in there then um, here are uh, some war banners or key runes uh, from uh, Khans or Ravnica. <coughs> uh, Obelisk of Jund. Uh, here another banner. Runestone. Uh, this is for drawing cards. And so on. And uh, so I have a little bit mana fixing in here and a uh, little bit uh, other tools for your uh, decks, but I wanted to have uh, this cube rather small because, uh, well, I um, limited my environment to this box. So uh, my uh, magic universe in this little box. So, um, yeah, that's uh, all about my new cube. Um, uh, what else is to say? Um, yeah, you need uh, obviously standard land cards uh, for that. Uh, I have here in this box uh, 20 uh, lands of uh, each type. Normally you should have at least 23 to 28 lands uh, of each standard type in there. Um, but right now I was running out of uh, sleeves. <laughs> So uh, this cube is exactly 400 cards, meaning uh, 360 cards uh, for the cube itself, and uh, the rest are the basic lands. And uh, yeah. <coughs> then you normally shuffle all the stuff and uh, put them into your nice box. In. Okay. 
dum di dum di dum di dum sek ah wah yeah that's the problem with new sleeves <laughs> Uh, not all of them fit in here. So. <coughs> there we go. Normally they are uh, shuffled anyway, so doesn't matter when it's not fitting 100% with each color. There you go, the whole cube, put the lid on top and you see this stack and save box is rather good to keep your cards inside. Yeah, so much uh, from me for this uh, new updated uh, cube version and uh, well, to you guys uh, all, happy Halloween and happy magic playing. <laughs> I hope you like this and we see us in the next video. You're Alexandra.